It's the 126th meeting between K-State and Kansas in the Dillon Sunflower Showdown in Bramlett's Coliseum. The opening salvo of the two-game series in Big 12 play, one of the longest continuous robberies in the country. Coming off their own disappointing loss, four-point lead with 30 seconds left against 14th-ranked Baylor, then lost the game, and a three-pointer put in by Anaya Thomas. Sundell up the court quickly, gets the ball back. Talented freshman point guard, Jalen Glenn, a three-pointer. Nothing but that, and King State's on the board. And that helps because Kansas State's got to have that perimeter factor. Don't force things and make Kansas State have to guard you through that shot clock. Jalen Glenn hit a three earlier. Let's go another, and hits another. Lee sets up deep again, this time into the lane. A little hook shot goes in, and the All-American is on the board. One of two Kansas natives that are on the roster, if you're not counting the Kansas City area. Three-pointer poured in from the go from the corner by Barrasso. She loves to be able to go over that shoulder, turn, and use the right. Barrasso left wide open, about the same spot, and the same result. Back-to-back -back breakdowns defensively for Kansas State. And Lee working hard inside, trying to get position against Ajekwu, looking for the entry feed. It finally comes. She'll go to the baseline, go up strong and score. Lee's got eight. Rolls it at the basketball goal, not getting the shot. Rebound, Hatsa Leonte follows it in, and the Jayhawks have the advantage. The Wildcats off and running. Sundell goes in, another block for Jackson. Thomas cherry picking at the other end, gets the lay in. Mackey's pass to Lee. She flends off Jackson and scores again. 14 for Lee. And that's the All-American at work right there. Jalen Glenn thought about pulling up for that three-pointer. Instead to Sundell. Corner three on its way. Nothing but net. She drew two players at her. Find the open player, and that's exactly what you got to do. El Tayyab now. Remember, El Tayyab in there because Jackson will eventually with four fouls. She was late in the ret return. What a pass, Sundell to Mackey, who lays it in. You've got to find those momentum plays. Well, Laura Mackey has come to play for K-State. Now Glenn with a steal out high against Brasso. Jalen Glenn coast to coast and a quick 6-0 burst by K-State forces a KU timeout and Bramlage is rocking. One point today, six field goals. Gets it a screen there from Jackson, kind of walking up the court and Kurskeeter buries her first. Riley Glenn, left side, right in front of the K-State bench. That's her first three-pointer. Entry feed to Lee, working on Jackson. Jackson with a block shot, it's her sixth. I think it may have hit her knee, though, because you did see the ball change direction. Kurskeeter off a double screen, buries the three! In it goes to Lee, turnaround jumper is in. At that, so that is a dangerous play, no doubt. Inbound play, wide open, Thomas hits the three! Great movement by Kansas. Franklin on the drive, kick to Kurskeeter, guarded three, yes! We are tied! 16 with under seven minutes to go. Lee, a little hook shot, flips it in, she's got 23. The two coaches exchange pleasantries. K-State improves to 14 and four with a win. They have now won 37 of the last 45 against their rivals in this series.